Hi, I'm Mr. Lustig, and as you can see, I'm a stick. I used to work as a log puzzle, but they fired me because I didn't fit in. So the answer to the puzzle is surprisingly easy. It's... Wait, are you just going to give it up that easy? Well, yeah. This video is about why adults have a harder time figuring out puzzles like this and why kids take seconds to solve them. Now, let me help you out a bit. I don't think I need to explain this anymore. Hey, I don't get it. How high can you count, Rolly? Um, you know what? I don't need to know. Now, if you're still here, firstly, thank you. Me love you long time. And second, let's talk about why these puzzles are so damn hard sometimes. There's a cool graph that I like to reference to people sometimes. You really don't want this channel to succeed, do you? Graphs? Really? Hey, graphs can be fun. Whatever you say, Seinfeld. This graph shows how little we actually know while we think of ourselves as experts. Hey, that looks like a booby! See what I mean? The hard part is always understanding what you don't know. Which leads us to the next issue. When I worked at a big corporation, we had an all-hands meeting with the CEO, which I attended, and I took home two very important pieces of advice. One, these meetings are more like brainwashing sessions, so I should avoid them like the plague. And two, there is no such thing as a stupid question during your first three months at the job. Really? Then what was with that boob earlier? Of course, this is not absolute. I mean, you don't have to ask if you have to let the toilet seat up. Of course you do. Don't you mean leave it down? Even I know that. Um, let's move on. I got a question from someone a while ago after I used F-A-I-K in the work chat. A fake? Hey, you're a fake. It means as far as I know. Oh, well then... You're not a fake! Anyway, even though it was kind of a stupid question, it was actually more productive to put it. Sometimes it's worth turning the page upside down, even if you do look weird while doing it. A change in perspective can do wonders. In other words... We tend to try to rationalize everything, but Remember the graph from earlier? Trying to rationalize something with limited knowledge is a recipe for disaster. But kids know nothing. And they just don't care. They just want to figure things out in any way, shape, or form. They're not trying to rationalize something. They just want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Even if it means they have to use their your imagination. I feel like I should be learning something here. Should I? Yes, you should. Most of the time, it's easier to simplify problems. Every complex thing can be broken down into simple steps. And when something seems too complex to figure out, try and think like a kid. Oh, I know. Ask for sweets all day, right? It's like you're not even trying. Well, I'm not. And if you like this video, just give it a thumbs down. No one but me will know. But do it like a kid. Hey. What's that supposed to mean? With love! Hey, you made it! You're here! Yay! You're here! Don't go away! Click here! Or here! Or both of them! Come on! Do it! You know you want to!